Good morning. I'm meteorologist Sally Shulman in the Weather Center Wednesday morning. Now, we do have showers outside this morning, but nothing in comparison to what we'll see tonight throughout the day tomorrow. Flood watches have been posted for tonight through Friday night up and down the I-5 corridor with one to three inches of rain possible here in the valley, three to seven inches in the coast range and the Cascades. So there are those showers this morning. No big deal. And then there's the main event. It's an atmospheric river that's going to bring a lot of moisture into the region kind of like a fire hose you can see that here on your rain and cloud forecast watch that clock this is 9 30 tonight with a steady rain pulling into the metro area it'll be heavy at times overnight now look off to the east toward the dalles and through the gorge initially heavy snow coming down winter storm watch in effect there throughout the day tomorrow i think by afternoon there'll be a transition of freezing rain or sleet before an eventual transition uh, to all-out rain through the gorge but in the meantime very treacherous travel through the gorge now the heaviest rain set to arrive tomorrow night around Portland. This is 1130 tomorrow night and then all of that rain starts to push off to the south and east. By 8 o'clock Friday morning we're left with hit and miss showers and we continue to see those showers throughout the day on Friday but not the steady rain that we see on Thursday. Winter storm watch in effect through the gorge. Impressive snowfall totals before the transition to freezing rain or sleet and eventually rain. We could see a lot of snow up on Mount Hood uh, before we get a little bit of rain on top of that snow. East of the Cascades, winter storm warning everywhere in pink there. Winter weather advisory everywhere in blue. Ben could see two to four inches of snow uh, overnight tonight into the day tomorrow. So here's your seven day forecast. Very wet, especially tomorrow. So Thursday looks to be the wettest day of the next seven. Steady rain very early Friday morning gives way to on and off scattered showers in the afternoon. Saturday starts with on and off showers and then steady rain develops again overnight Saturday into Sunday. So kind of a foregone conclusion that we break the record for the wettest month on record out at PDX this month. We need about 13.35 inches to do that. And so far this month, we have almost 10 and a half inches of rain. So we'll be keeping tabs on all of our local rivers and streams. The potential for mudslides and landslides still exists. So that is a concern as we uh, go into this very wet period, the next 48 hours. We'll keep you updated right here from the Weather Center. Have a great Wednesday.